Hi. Well, I went to a gun show today, and it was a pretty good sized one. And I brought home lots of goodies. And maybe the prices are starting to even out a little now. There were still some guys trying to um, trying to price gouge, but not nearly as many of them as the last time I went to a gun show. A lot of the prices were pretty reasonable even today. Even got a box of uh, Federal 550 rounds of 22 long rifle at a reasonable price. I believe it was uh, $24, which might be a little a little bit over what they were before the the ammo shortage hit, but not a whole lot. And oh, there's a nine-pound jug of. Uh, Number nine uh, accurate powder. The stuff works great for just about any kind of magnum uh, handgun loads. And here's a pound of unique that works just about that works pretty good for just about anything that isn't a magnum in a handgun. Got uh, three M14 magazines, a couple of used GI ones, nice shape. And a new 30 round one. I don't know how well a 30 round mag for the M14 M1A will work, but I guess we'll find out. It wasn't terribly expensive. And there's a box of uh, 45 Colt from a custom loader. And there's some, uh, a box of 7 uh, times 54 French. Box 8 millimeter Mauser, 25 out 6, 308. Couple of boxes of 9 millimeter. A bag of uh, 45 long Colt. Box of 38 Super. Two boxes of uh, 44 Special. A box of 44 Magnum. Two boxes of 41 Magnum box of 38 special uh, wad cutters which I thought was damn reasonable price for them those are usually kinda high priced that's $17.99 box of 357 and a box of uh, of uh, 30-06 and four used uh, AK-47 magazines a couple of them got a little rust on them but I think it'll clean right off without any trouble used but uh, look like good uh, condition and then here is the jewel of it all right there a Smith & Wesson model 19-3 with nickel finish and this thing doesn't look like it has hardly ever been shot there's not even really much of a turn line on the cylinder Six inch barrel, smooth uh, target Smith & Wesson grips which you don't see very often. I mean this gun looks just almost new. And I can't look up uh, the serial number uh, to get the exact date on it right now. I've got my standard catalog of Smith & Wesson loaned out to a guy. So when he brings it back, I can look it up and find out exactly what year it was made. Since it's a Dash 3, and it's still uh, got the pen barrel and the recessed cylinders, I would guess late 70s manufacture. See if we can get that, uh, yeah, model 19-3. And like I said, it looks just, just like brand new. Just about as good as you could ever hope to find and I love these K-frame Smith & Wessons but if you look at the face of the cylinder there hardly any carbon on the face of the cylinder 
hardly even a mark back here from the cylinder being opened and closed. I would bet you this thing has not had a bo more than a box or two of ammo shot through it. And these are getting harder and harder to find. Wasn't cheap, but I had to take it home with me when I seen this. <laughs> Just a beautiful gun. But anyway, I wanted to give you a look at the all I got from the gun show. Like I said, quite a bit of ammo. And the nine the nine millimeter uh one box was uh, maybe a little bit high, one of them maybe medium price, uh, but uh, all in all the ammo was fairly reasonable priced. Maybe a little bit higher than what it was before, but not much, especially on some of this. Uh, I thought that was damn cheap for 44 Special, $27.50 a box. thirty dollars uh, per fifty for the long colts twenty two dollars for smith and well i mean for uh... three fifty seven magnum which is you know the mag tech stuff is not the real high price stuff anyway but just in general the prices seem to be coming somewhere close back to normal anyway. The, the 41 Magnums were kind of high priced, $40 a box, but uh, 41 Magnum tends to be, uh, was kind of expensive before the ammo crunch hit. And uh, well, as far as that goes, 41 Magnum is probably one of the easier ones to, to find these days. Just because it is kind of an odd caliber and not a whole lot of people use it. And so is the 38 Super and uh, 44 Special, really. But anyway, wanted to give you a, a nice quick look at all of this. And I want to do an end of video shout out. And this is for that dude, Siraj. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this uh video. If you get a chance, go check him out. I think you'll like his channel. And if you do go and check him out, make sure you check out his video called Kung Pao Chicken. It's a rather unique way of fixing chicken. With the, with the name of it, uh, Kung Pao Chicken, the emphasis is on the pow. I think you'll get a kick out of it. Well, thanks for watching.